So hello everybody, this Friday so it's time for another Dax Friday, it's a new Dax function every Friday. In today's Dax functions we're going to talk about context transition, which is quite an interesting topic when it comes to Dax. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so I left the previous video with a question. I showed you that if you put calculate around sum, you will get a different uh, result on calculate columns. Don't worry, we will go through it in detail. Uh, and I will ask you why, and you said context transition, that was the right answer, but what is context transition? So that's what we're going to find out today. The table we're going to use is the same that we did before. We have a list of products, sales, discount, and we're going to build this from the beginning. So what we're going to do is first create a uh, measure that will calculate the sum of sales as a measure. So sum, oh, the Dax editor is a pain. <laughs> New measure, come on, work with me. Sum as measure, and then we're just going to do sum of sales, nothing else. So sum, and then I'll wrap the sales in there. And this is the intuitive part of DAX, that in reality is not as intuitive as it looks. You have to know how it works. But this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put some there. You've seen this demo probably a thousand and one times. And then you put a table and it gives us 800. So if we go back to how our table looks, you can see it here, 500 plus 100 plus 200, 800. Great. So it's giving us the total. Now, if I put in uh, our product, suddenly this sum changes. So why does it change? Well, each row is acting as a filter on sum. So it's not now giving us the total of sales, it's actually giving us the total of sales for in lagged seal on the first row, because this is a filter. It's like if you write sum product equal seal, that, that would be the sum. So here we have Kumbu, and here we have queso cabrales, right? So here is like calculate sum of sales product equal queso cabrales. And that, that's what it's giving us row by row. And it is an intuitive thing because you see it, but it, the fact of the matter is that sum accept rows as filters, as is a filter context. So when you drop in something, it does that. It just changes the value for the rows that you have because they, he sees it a filter, some sees that as filters. Now, if we go in here and we go to new column, we are going to do the exact same thing, but in a calculated column. Okay, so we go in there and we put sum as calculated column equal to, it's exactly the same thing as sum, and then we put sales, And what do you think is going to give us for answer? And that's probably what you wouldn't expect, especially if you come from the Excel world. This is something that threw me off all the time as a beginner. And it really frustrates me, to be honest. So what's going on here? You would probably expect to see the same as here, 200, 100, and 500. It's actually giving us 800 everywhere. And the thing with these is that some requires filters in order to change to something other than the totals, like you saw before. But this is a table, this has no filters at all. There are no filters applied in this table whatsoever. In here, because this is a virtual table that it was created on the fly when I put products, those are filters. But in here, Sam is not receiving any filters. So it goes here to the first row and it said, gives me the filters, say, I have no filters. And then it says, oh, then I'll give you the total. Boom. And then you have the total. So it doesn't see the rows it, because the rows are not, not filters. And some does not have any filter context built in, in any row context. So it cannot see what's in the row. So when I put calculate in here, calculate and then enter. You can see that it gives us the same result as before, and that's more what we expected. So what happened? What did Calculate do that Sam couldn't do on its own? 
And here's the thing, calculate does context transition. Both calculate and calculate table do that. And what it basically means is that it takes queso cabrales, the first row, and it converts it into a filter. So it's basically creating a virtual list like this and feeding it to some as filters. It's as simple as that. And as complex as that, if you would say so, but it is as simple as that. So when it's only some, the rows are not filters, so they don't get passed to the sum. When you put calculate, calculate takes every row and changes as a filter. So now this is basically saying sum of sales where product equal queso cabrales. Give me the results and then that's why you get 200 in there. Okay, so that is what context transition is at the purest form, obviously. There are uh, ifs and buts, but we will talk about those in another video. I just want you to feel this game and experiment. It's the best way to learn DAX.